I have had a lot of anger in my life. Uh, just briefly, my, my young years, of course, you know, the typical, you know, your parents get married, they get you, me, their child, and then get divorced. And, um, and in my case, having a new stepfather, our family wasn't really working that well. It made me angry, it made me pissed. I was so angry. And, and my tool in every situation with, with some kind of a pressure was solving it with anger. Being angry from just bursting out something to being physical about it. I was pissed off all the time. And in pretty young age, around 15, 16, I found this book called The Open Mind or something like that. And the book was this American psychotherapist, I think he was. He went, he went to Russia. And back in these days where the book was wrote, uh, written, <laughs> you weren't really going to Russia because of the Cold War and stuff like that. But he found in Russia that those psychologists in Russia, they were, they were investigating different areas of the mind, you know, can, can you read other people's thoughts and stuff like that. So it was a little new age, but that book opened my mind. What was the title of it? I think, well, maybe there's another possibility than but being angry all the time. So I started investigating and I, find, and I found psychotherapy. And I started, I paid myself, I got a job, you know, cleaning uh, in a gym. And, and I started taking therapy sessions. No one told me to do it. I just started, tried it out. And the first, first therapist was really bad. <laughs> but still she taught me something important. That you have a choice. And then around 17, I just felt this inside me. I, I have to be a psychotherapist. And if people ask me why, I, say, I don't know. I just have to be. And of course, it, that was that anger starting to change in direction. Going from just being angry to saying, I want something. I'm going for this. I don't know why. I'm just going for it. And I'm, I'm going to be the best. And of course, I was only 17 when I started to trying to get into the school. And of course, they told me because you're supposed to be 25. They told me, well, you're too young. And, and they also said, well, you don't have a prior education and you need that to be a psych psychotherapist. You, you cannot just come from the street being a psychotherapist. And of course, in the beginning, I got frustrated and I was thinking, well, this is unfair. And then this, again, this anger transformed and said, well, okay, so I'm not 25. I don't have a prior education. What if in every other case I do double up? What then? And they were just trying to, you know, <laughs> tell me off and say, well, oh, you're too young. And then I started at the school taking therapy once a week. I took a bus to a train station. I took the train to another train station. I waited 40, minuted, 40 minutes and I took a second train to the last station and then I ran for eight kilometers to the school. Had an hour and a half of therapy and then taking all the trip back again. And I did that every week. And if I wasn't that angry, <laughs> I couldn't have done it. This anger, this urge was just driving me all the time to just do it again and again and again and again. And in the end, because I had a lot of therapy, I had the money to pay for the education and a lot of things that all the others didn't, I provided that. So in the end, I got the chance and I took it. And I think, Normally, anger is a bad thing. You're too angry, you know, you cannot be like that. But if we teach ourselves to point our emotions in the right direction, there's nothing like good and bad emotions. Without anger, you don't have any drive. And without drive, you don't create anything. And unless you are a monk or a nun living on a mountain hill, you need that drive. So, of course, Emotions can be negative, can be, as I would say, destructive. But destructive only means that whatever you're getting, if it's good or bad things you're getting, the way you think make it destructive. But you can have a real a poor, not good life, 
But if you have a certain kind of thinking, changing things from, well, it was bad, but the way you think around it, what you wrap it into in your mindset can change it into something constructive. So I did that with my anger. Say, so, well, anger is, is good if you turn it into a drive. Then nothing can stop you.